For months, we have been reporting on the epidemic of car break-ins in San Francisco, and now we've discovered a new problem. KPI X5's Betty Yu shows us how it's adding insult to injury for car theft victims. Betty? Liz, we are in Fisherman's Wharf right now. This is a hot spot for car break-ins. Now, typically, the getaway driver will follow the thief very closely as he's hitting multiple cars, and it all happens in a matter of seconds. But now, fixing the damage can take months because of the glass shortage. Bro. Well, at least they didn't smash it completely. Yen Fan found her car windshield violently smashed at 8.30 at night, parked on Mission Street near 22nd, a busy, heavily trafficked part of town. I thought it was like something like bird poop or some kind of stain, you know? But no, it looked like it was like smashed, like with a baseball bat, and there were about four, you know, um, four marks. And then the roof was also like dented. After calling about half a dozen glass repair shops, she found they're all facing a glass shortage. Normal glass repair is about two to three hundred. And then, you know, when I talked to the guy, I was like, oh, why can you, why, why is it nine hundred dollars? You know, uh, does it really cost that much? And can you not get it done any sooner? You know, he was like, yeah, no. The owner of this brand new Audi RS7 also ran into the same headaches after burglars broke in on Hawthorne Street near Howard in Soma. We went to probably seven auto glass shops in the Bay Area. All of them were backlogged um, and especially, you know, add in the manufacturing delays, right, from all over the world. Um, it took me more than four weeks to replace that car window. And it cost $2,000. We have not seen a glass shortages like this. We've seen low supply, but not into the, in, not into the aspect where even when we ordered through the dealer, they have no projected timeline, so we could be waiting weeks to months. MAZ Autoglass in San Francisco said it used to be able to repair glass in a couple of days, but since most of the glass is imported, pandemic supply chain issues are causing massive delays right now. And because there's a lot of increases in break-ins, that means a lot of supply is getting, is getting driven down, and those who have it are going to turn that product that was sold to them for 60 bucks, they sell it for $300. Central Station, which covers San Francisco's hottest tourist spots, has already seen a 31% increase in larceny, which includes car break-ins, from June to October, compared with the first part of the year. And of course, everyone is frustrated. It's a lose-lose situation for both the auto shops and then the cars and, and the insurance companies. Do you feel safe in San Francisco um, driving? No. <laughs> no, not at all. So, Betty, the repair shops, are they seeing this just in the higher-end cars or certain kinds of cars? Well, they tell me it's old cars and it's new cars, but the new cars are a little bit more complex to fix because they often have more features and they need to be recalibrated. And, of course, that means they're also more expensive, Alan. A lot of technology there, too. All right, Betty, thanks.